Here you are, congratulations, class of 2021. We are here to celebrate your graduation and your four years here at Cameron Heights. Imagine, it all began in this cafeteria, grade nine link crew day, so long ago. And along the way, you may have been involved in clubs, you may have been involved in activities here on this very stage, athletics, where you played for our school teams, and academically, some incredible knowledge that you learned from your teachers. And your teachers aren't going to let you walk away without a little bit more wisdom. So they have put together a collection of some of their best advice. And here it is. Enjoy. Congratulations to the 2021 graduating class. Please take some time this month to reflect on the last four years of your high school careers. Think about all that you've accomplished. Think about the times that you persevered. Think about what you've done that makes you proud. And think how you can continue to have moments like that throughout your life. We appreciate how difficult it must have been to finish high school during a global pandemic. We are counting on you to meet future challenges with the same determination you showed these past 16 months. Believe in yourselves, Gales. We believe in you. Take care and all the best. I hope that Cameron Heights has been a home to you, but I also hope that you continue to use these strong foundations as you build incredibly unique stories throughout your future. My advice to grads is be open to new experiences and opportunities, and don't always feel that you have to take a linear path. Remember that you are always sufficient. One of my favorite quotes, when you have the choice between being right and being kind, always choose kind. Identify what you love to do, what's your passion, and then figure out a way to get paid for it. And don't make any decisions based on fear. I want you to always remember that your library card is like a tiny passport. Please use it often and allow it to take you on many, many, many fabulous adventures. To always be nice and to always rise above. First of all, when you're making decisions about your life, always go with the option that makes your life better. And secondly, I think that everybody should live with a dog at some point in their life. Come here, Rosie. You have learned through these four years at Cameron um, how to be flexible, how to adapt, um, how to be resilient, especially this year, and um, to have perseverance. These are all skills that are going to serve you well uh, moving forward. You should learn how to cook. It'll help you save money on that tight student budget. It'll help you eat healthier so that you're not living off of just Mr. Noodles. And it'll help you reach your secret goal of becoming a social media culinary superstar. Always be kind and gentle, be patient and peaceful, be humble, show mercy, show caring and compassion. But above all else, always choose kindness. I think that laughter in all of its forms will help you to navigate through life, to look back on it with fondness, to live in the moment and experience life firsthand. Laughter keeps one grounded and ultimately gives us reason and optimism to continue to move forward. Don't ever lose your ability to laugh. It is the most important quality that you can have. Embrace your weird, or at the very least, get a pair of funky glasses. I wanted to share with you the idea of cliches and uh, people are like, oh, that's such a cliche. But the reason why we have cliches and that people say them and use them is because they work. So if you find yourself uh, saying things like, this too shall pass, or tomorrow is a new day, be okay with that. Um, because they're here because they actually work. And uh, with time, 
they do make us feel better. You try. Try out for those different activities. Try that course that you're interested. Go on that trip. Just try. Hey grads, if you think you're too small to be effective, then you've never been in the dark with a mosquito before. My advice to you is to get outside and spend as much time exploring and adventuring the outdoors as possible. Um, enjoy the beautiful days that come towards you, uh, whether there's snow on the ground or sunshine in the sky, just enjoy the outdoors and have as much fun as you can. As you contemplate your lives outside of Cameron, I know many of you want to go out into the world to make a difference. As you consider how to do that, don't ever underestimate the impact of simple kindness. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, make people feel like they matter. Take the time to really listen to people. Small kindnesses can make the biggest difference. Life is unpredictable. But it doesn't have to be perfect to be perfectly wonderful. Embrace the opportunities that come along, the things that you weren't expecting, the things that you were expecting. All of them go together to make up who you are and what your journey looks like. Know that you are going to procrastinate. So instead of fighting it, just work with it. Plan ahead, invest in a good planner. But other than that, enjoy. Life is a perpetual perplexing situation. I think that pretty much sums up 2020 and 2021. And it's important to remember that life is school. The path is never linear and there are lessons lurking everywhere. Definitely try not to worry so much about what other people think. Um, follow your dreams, your own dreams, the ones that you have for yourself, not the dreams that other people have for you. Good lesson for you. Stay optimistic. Believe in yourself. You guys have so much talent, you will overcome a ton of things. Pick morning classes. I know that sounds crazy and you're already trying to stop my logic, but pick morning classes. Set that alarm. Get out of bed. Go to class. You'll be done by 12 or 12.30. You have the rest of the day. If you want to do something, just go and do it. The months and years go by so fast, so try to slow them down and take it all in. Be present in every moment and every event, rather than just going through the motions. Every job has goods and bads. And as a society, we appreciate your contribution, and we all work together. By working hard, you will get new opportunities, and no one knows what those are yet. My best piece of advice to you is to make sure that you surround yourself with people who are going to challenge you and support you in doing better and being better. These are the people that are going to be with you through many years, through many ups and downs of life, and they will help you in all of these endeavors. First of all, use your damn blinker when you're driving. Always check behind the shower curtain before using a washroom. Third, when you're coming out of a washroom, never smell your hands. And if you're operating a jackhammer, don't wear flip-flops. And the most important thing I want to say is try to remember that feeling of the last day of school right before summer vacation and use that. Congratulations on your graduation.